install the boot. Mark fiber at 30 millimeters. Using the stripping tool, strip the tight buffer in small incremental lengths. Clean exposed fiber using an alcohol wetted lint free wipe. Pinch hard enough to hear a squeak. Check the integrity of the stripped fiber by gently flicking the end of the fiber tip up and down and side to side. Make sure the black slide is pushed as far as it will travel. Open the three covers of the fiber holder. Lay the fiber into the fiber holder with the natural curve facing toward the fiber holder. Place fiber with 1 mm to 1.5 mm of buffer protruding beyond the end of the fiber holder. Close covers in order. Set the cleaver for cutting. Slide the fiber holder into the cleaver as far as it will travel. Push the cleaver cover. Check cleaved length with the fiber length gauge molded into the connector holder. Lay the fiber holder onto the connector holder using the starting line. Slide the fiber holder towards the back of the connector until it stops with a click. Open middle cover. Again slide the fiber holder toward the back of the connector until another click is heard. This step should create a slight bowing of the fiber between the first and third covers. Gently press the fiber two to three times near the third cover. Open the gate on the clear plastic wedge. Squeeze the sides of the clear plastic wedge and remove from connector. This action releases the internal clamp, causing a tight grip on the inserted fiber. Check the termination using the visible fault locator, or VFL. A 3 dB attenuator is needed to reduce the power of most VFLs. Attach a patch cord to the VFL. Remove the dust cap from the connector and connect the patch cord. No visible light indicates a good termination has been made. Open covers 1 and 3 and lift connector out of the connector holder. Install the boot with a click. If the termination is not good, light will be seen in one of the connector windows. To 
To fix this problem, reinstall dust cap and clear plastic wedge until seated completely. Tap the bowed fiber once or twice near cover number three and then recheck for visible light using the visible fault locator. No visible light indicates a good termination has been made.